Rookie quarterback Russell Wilson had yet another subpar performance, but the Seattle Seahawks were able to grind out a win behind a strong defensive performance, holding Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers to just 190 total yards and a 16-12 win. This was a great game, if you hate offense. The Seahawks, who have the league's worst passing attack, struggled in the red zone against the Panthers' lousy D, while the high-powered Carolina offense was stymied by Seattle's defensive unit, who deserve a game ball for their game-saving goal line stand in the fourth quarter stoning Lewis Murphy at the half yard line on third down. Great play by Marcus Trufant and Brandon Browner to keep him out of the end zone here. On the next play, the Seahawks didn't bite on the play action, then forced a turnover on downs by hurrying Newton to a bad throw. That's easy to blame Newton for that throw, but the Seahawks team speed and solid defensive fundamentals frustrated Newton all day. Newton completed fewer than half his passes for a career low 141 yards as the Panthers offense produced just three points. The lone Carolina touchdown? A 33-yard pick six by Captain Munnerlyn on a terrible throw by Wilson. Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady, this was not. For more on the Panthers' underwhelming performance, let's go to James Sator of Cat Scratch Reader. Hi, this is James Sator for CatScratchReader.com. Uh, the Carolina Panthers just lost 16 to 12 against the Seattle Seahawks at home. Uh, the Panthers had no business in even being that close within four points. The offense was terrible. The offensive line couldn't block for Cam Newton. He was sacked multiple times. Cam had accuracy problems. The pass rush couldn't get going. Nothing went right. Uh, the running backs fumbled. Uncharacteristic drops from normally reliable receivers. It was a complete and utter failure in every phase of the game for the Carolina Panthers. Leading into this season, I thought the Panthers could be a 9-7 and team, building off what they did last year when they finished 6-10. and uh, I've been kind of holding out against revising that prediction. It needs to be revised. This is a terrible, terrible football team and legitimately one of the worst teams in the NFL. Their defense can't stop anybody. And if there's any injuries to this team whatsoever, they don't have any depth to be able to recover. 16 to 12, Seattle walks away from Carolina with the victory. The Panthers now have a bye week to try and assess their situation. And fans can only hope they make serious adjustments because right now, this is as bad an NFL team as there is around the league right now. Again, this is James Sator for CatScratchReader.com, your source for Carolina Panthers news and information. Thank you, sir. The Panthers have now lost four in a row to fall to one and four. They go into their bye week with the opposite of momentum. The Seahawks improved to three and two, but are last in the NFC West, and it doesn't get any easier for them. They host the Patriots, then head to San Francisco to face the 49ers on four days rest. For more on the Panthers, subscribe to Catch Scratch Reader. And if you're a Seahawks fan, subscribe to Field Goals. And of course, stick with SB Nation for more on the NFL.